All right. Well, it is fifth November. This is day three, Kentucky, and uh, got a new little development. I just woke up, uh, got dressed, had a cop come up talk to me because I was parked in a gas station parking lot. Happens all the time. I went to put my socks on and go inside and get some coffee. And I looked for my hip boots, but my hip boots weren't in there. So apparently somebody saw some hip boots and just took them. I guess they needed them more than me. So let's go get in the boat, try this again. I'm probably gonna freeze today. I'm gonna have to go travel to the nearest. I mean, I'm a long ways from any pro shop or I'm gonna have to go buy me some cold weather rubber boots. Let's do a little gear check with us. Make sure nothing else is stolen. We got a boat, climber, camera on. This GoPro, this GoPro, if I stole my socks, got my coffee and keys, and we got a boat motor. daylight and I'm easing in here. I am uh, exactly where I was yesterday evening where I had the buck locked down with the doe. And uh, yeah, I parked the boat. I've been walking in here a while. I'm at the last hundred yards probably. So I'm gonna try to pick up in here, sneak in, get up a tree and uh, see what we can do with them this morning. Then I gotta go find some new boots because I'm probably gonna freeze because I got uninsulated lacrosse granges, my turkey hunt boots. spook anything out of here that I know of uh, and it's cold and I'm warm except my cotton picking feet I wonder why because some bozo decided it would be a good idea to steal my hip boots beside my truck as I slept last night I just, <laughs> I hope they must, I hope they needed them more than I did because I'm really needing them right now. I'm freezing, my feet are freezing. That's probably the strangest thing I've ever had happen to me.
deer's right there. I could have shot that deer a hundred times. It's a nice deer. A real good one. It's just not what I'm looking for. I know there's bigger. I know there's bigger deer around. That deer's right there still. I could have shot him a bunch of times, but he's close to what I'm looking for, just not quite there yet. There's got to be something bigger in here. All right, I'm down from the tree. It's about 11. I've got to run into some town. I don't know. I don't think there's anything close to me. I'm going to have to go buy some new boots or waders or hip boots or whatever I can find. So that's why my hunt's cut short and the wind's changed. The wind's terrible right now for this spot. So I had to make a change anyhow. This is good for a south wind. And I'll come back in here when it switches to a good south wind. I like to hunt spots. Not that the deer can't smell me, but it makes like actual sense for a deer to walk right by me. Uh, so that is normally downwind of doe bedding. So the wind's wrong now. I'm gonna get out of here, go get some boots. We'll see y'all later. Well, well, well. After this little scavenger hunt I've had today, let's do a little recap for y'all. I have been to about every Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops in Kentucky. Academy, Denim's, Dunham's, Denim's, whatever you call it, Dick's Sporting Goods, uh, Walmart, um, Academy, just about everywhere you would think they would have a boot. I have not found the ones that I wear that were stolen from me. Uh, all the looking and all the searching I've done has resulted in a muck counterfeit. I just got to the point where everywhere I went, I just said, anything in a size 10 and a half, 10. And I got these muck counterfeits called dry shot. I, I don't know, all I know is that they should keep my feet warm. The things don't even, they don't even, uh, yeah, they don't even protect you up to the knee like a half clay, half rubber lacrosse wood. They're, uh, they're like a, kind of a knee boot but not really i call it like a shin boot anyhow that's where we're at that's the update no hunting tonight we'll see y'all tomorrow and see if i can uh change this thing around turn it around it's kentucky i expect nothing less than a absolute dumpster fire grind and that's where i'm at but i'm not giving up my phone is cracked on the front and on the back don't ask me why i took the case off See y'all tomorrow. Well, good morning. I'm at the boat landing. It's November 6th, day four. Finally got some boots. So we're gonna see what we can do today. Uh, gonna get out here, gonna hunt where I first started hunting, beginning of the week, going back to, the, going back to that little spot. Um, bunch of shooters cruising, so I gotta do it again sometime. footage-wise, sorry about that. I had a doe come by me, mock one, and dive into the creek like she was after a 
like it was a dog after a tennis ball. Hear all the does coming. They're about to cross. Anyhow, a buck chased her, swam after her. Now all of a sudden, they're coming back, but there's like eight of them and bucks running them and they're going to cross back over, it looks like. It's about to get wild. Seven. I'm just counting, I just counted seven does. It's getting crazy. And what's basically happening is that one buck ran the doe across the creek. A second buck showed up, crossed. Okay, there's another buck. And then they've been in there on the other side stirring all this crap around. And it's like ping pong. Whichever direction the does go, there's a buck trying to run them. And they're just bouncing all around in here. But anyhow, long rant, no shooters yet. Uh, but that deer looked bigger than I just saw. So, it's getting interesting. All right, update. It's quarter to nine, just had three does, a doe and two yearlings. Swim the creek. And uh, got all the way to the bank, started coming up. I shook off twice, big doe caught my wind and they swam back across. So that sucks because I really needed her to cross. So any buck would cross, but I mean, it could work out either way. But what that tells me is if a buck swims, as soon as his buck hits the dirt, the bank on the other side, I gotta shoot him right there. I hear more deer running. <laughs> All right, it's about, it's about 11. All right, it's about 11.40 and I just saw a buck running right out through there chasing a doe. He looked like a big deer. We'll just see if he comes back by. Well, I'm getting out of here. I am gonna go to where I passed that uh, weak side buck the other day. Um, I guess that was yesterday. I've got kayakers of all the places they could get out of the kayak. I mean, I have the worst luck, y'all. They're getting out right on top of me. Well, I reckon we're gonna go get in the boat.
Y'all see that? See that? I'm at a loss for words. That dude almost ran me over. He literally had 300 yards to see me and he never let down. And he just put five gallons of water all over me, my jacket, my cameras. I don't even know what to say. I, I'm not even, I'm just glad I'm alive y'all. That's, that's all I got to say. Not sure if y'all can see me. I'm kind of in the shadows here, but I'm back over here where I passed the buck yesterday. And I don't know what else is here. I'm still kind of shook up from a uh, little escapade on the water over there. Man, I'm just glad to be alive and right here in this tree. I'm gonna take that as a positive. I don't know what it is with me in this state, but everything I kill in this state is always a grind to get there. I mean, it's always a grind. We'll see what we see this evening. Well, it's probably gonna wrap it up for this evening. I'm gonna sit here till dark. If y'all don't hear from me again, we'll probably just see y'all in the morning.